Welcome to another Water Trek 360. Today we're going to revisit two housings I recently reviewed. We'll look at some improvements I made and do a revised comparison. Those housings are the Palouse and the Sea Frogs PHO2. They are similar in design, depth rating, button control, and have non touch casings. I'm not going to go through the complete review of these housings. Those links are in the description. There's a lot more detail not covered here, so do check them out. I've tweaked my ratings, and the outcome may surprise you. So stay with me and let's dive in. Now, now they're good. They're both depth rated to 130 feet. They're non-touch with hard casing. They both use buttons to control the camera functions and they ask for settings of assistive touch on and screen lock to never. The major difference is that the Palouse buttons are located positionally over the screen in order to work, whereas the Sea Frogs buttons control the phone's mouse to make any desired changes. They are both hard case polycarbonate both have top shoe and bottom tray mounts. The difference is Sea Frogs are both steel. Sea Frogs has a vacuum system, Palouse does not. Both are relatively inexpensive. The Palouse is around $70 versus $170 for the Sea Frogs, but the Palouse requires no Bluetooth or batteries. Sea Frogs, however, does have the ability to use 67 millimeter lens filters, whereas Palouse does not. And now the bad. Palouse can't change the camera lens size underwater. So basically it's for the 1X only. There are no external lens attachments other than the red filter. This housing is only designed for the iPhone 13, 13 Pro, 12, and 12 Pro. The dimensions of the new iPhone 14 Pro show that it's only one millimeter longer, so it should fit in this housing. The plastic is not as durable as Sea Frogs. The shoe mounts are plastic, not metal, and it had some heat issues. Sea Frogs also had its share of bads. There were few details on how to set up the mouse visuals for easy viewing. It still has issues with the AI constantly resetting, especially underwater. If you forget to set auto lock to never or put battery saver on, you can't get the phone out of the rest state once that happens. Per sea frogs, the vacuum has no moisture or waterproofing capability, then what is it? And it too had some heat issues. And now the ugly. For the Palouse, it was the red filter was too darn red. I've never seen a red filter prior to this that was that color. It's an odd size and there was no real alternative for it. So I made my own. I took an old red filter from my Hero 4 housing. I added a millimeter's worth of plastic and tape so that it would fit snugly into the retaining slot, and I took a chance. As for the results, the standard 1X lens worked fine. It also worked really well with the 3X zoom. The dot .5 wide angle lens, though, did get interference on the bottom due to the length of the filter. Remember, for those using a dot .5 and 3X, you have to set those up prior to going into the water, and you can't reset it if you change from video mode underwater to something else. I will work on this to see if I can shrink the width of the improvised filter. The Sea Frogs was a big ugly. As I highlighted in my previous video, the opening for the 67 millimeter lens attachment is not centered for the 1X lens. So the external wide angle lens was always blurry. Basically, you can't use any lens attachment other than the red filter. So I made my own internal sleeve, which then centered as close as I could the 1X lens to the middle of the seven millimeter opening. I then attached my external wide angle lens, gave it a pool test, and guess what? Improvement. As you can see here, the sharpness has improved, but there is the hard black vignette in the lower right since I had to move the 1X lens in that direction. This means I am not likely to use an external wide angle lens here due to the additional post-production work. The other big ugly was that if you tried to use the phone's internal wide angle lens, there was also major black vignetting in the lower right hand corner. This was due to the internal wall of the opening being too close to the dot 5X lens. 
If you watched my previous video, you saw that I made internal changes to the housing to remove as much of that vignette as possible. Please don't do this at home unless you want to invalidate your warranty. Those changes were still not enough to completely remove the black corner. So again, I made my own sleeve. I modified both the 1213 Mini and the 1213 Max sleeves and cut them so that they would marry together. I did this to move the dot .5 X lens further away from the edge of the 67 millimeter opening. You'll have the same issue with the new iPhone 14 Pro. Again, I had success. This new configuration allows all three lenses to be used without any black vignetting. It does eliminate any use of an external wide angle lens, but this is a small price to pay for me as I get to use any lens I want when I want. I hope you found this retake on these two housings useful. Full disclosure, I have gotten feedback from a couple of manufacturers saying my reviews and ratings are too subjective and critical. Well, I say tough. My standards may be more rigorous than other YouTubers, but my ratings baseline is for scuba videography. And yes, may not apply to snorkelers, kayakers, etc. I dive not only in blue water vacation spots, but on wrecks in cold, dark green water. All my revised ratings are based on five categories, listed in order of importance, scaled from one to 10, 10 being the highest. Based on some of the modifications I made for these housings, here are my current ratings. Depth, deeper is better. My minimum cutoff is 60 feet. You can see from the break in the rating scale, there's a gap. Both housings get a depth rating of eight since they can reasonably do 130 feet. Durability. If the housing fails, all other niceties mean nothing. I can't lose my phone just because I dive in a demanding environment. Paloos gets a 7, Sea Frogs gets an 8, Paloos is just not as beefy in my opinion. Next, ease of use. I can't waste time underwater getting a shot or playing with settings. Mucking around with camera gear on a rocking boat and losing pieces is a no-no. Most importantly, I don't want to waste time post-production due to image quality. Blues gets a nine. All you gotta do is make sure your phone settings are correct, open the case, put it in, that's it. Sea Frogs gets a seven. Concerns around the purpose of the vacuum, setup and breakdown times, the consistent resetting of the mouse AI and vignetting were all negatives. Versatility, how and where I can use it, what phone lens options I have, not only currently, but for future use, and what attachments are available. Here, Palouse gets a six. Palouse for me is a warm water vacation housing. They're without any attachments and the limited use of the dot 5X and 3X lenses lowers the score. Sea Frogs, while it has the attachments, what good are they if I can't use them without major modifications that I had to make to the sleeves and the housing? The rating of five was generous. This could change if sea frogs fix their defects. Cost. This includes initial costs and ongoing costs, and then a sliding scale how those costs align with the other four categories. Palouse gets an eight. While Palouse was cheap, Durability and flexibility challenges push that rating from a nine to an eight. Sea Frogs is $100 more expensive and doesn't do what it's advertised to do, especially with the iPhone 13 due to design flaws. The average person is not going to want to take the chances I did by altering the housing. That's why for the price, it got a five. So. My total scores based on the revised system, Sea Frogs gets a 6.6, .6, Palouse gets a 7.6. You will have to make your own determination whether either of these housings are worth it to you. Do check out some of my other videos. I am working on other housings for the iPhone 13 Pro, so look for those as well. I hope you enjoyed my rec videos and are having fun doing your own diving videos. I certainly am. And so, as always, until next time, go explore, get wet.